Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, we're going to compare the forehand flick technique of an amateur player. That's me, Tom Lodziak. With the forehand flick technique of a professional player, England number one, Liam Pitchford. Now my forehand flick technique, it's a bit mm, pants. It's not very good. And Liam's technique is excellent. He is very positive, very aggressive, and very consistent. So if you want to get a much better forehand flick technique, play a bit more like a professional player, then keep watching this video. There's going to be lots of great tips for you. This video is sponsored by Brybar Table Tennis. At Brybar, you can buy the new Victus V22 Double Extra Rubber. This rubber is seriously fast and spinny and will take your attacking game to the next level. To find out more, go to Brybar tt.co.uk So let's look at my technique to begin with. Well, you know, it's a little bit awkward, isn't it? A little bit army. Um, missing some of them, getting some of them over, but something just doesn't quite look right with my forehand flick technique. But now we take a look at Liam, and Liam looks much more balanced. He looks in control of his stroke and he's producing a faster more aggressive flick so how is he doing this let's have a look at our technique in slow motion first of all here is my forehand flick technique and now here is liam's forehand flick technique what are the key differences. The first key difference I want to highlight is the shot preparation. Liam prepares quicker than I do. Look, if we just pause the footage here, you can see that Liam has already moved further across the table than me. He is getting into position quicker, which gives him more time to prepare and then execute the shot. The next key difference is that Liam takes a bigger backswing. If you look at um, myself to begin with, um, it's almost like I, I come forwards and I meet the ball over the table. There's no backswing at all. Whereas Liam, he prepares for the shot earlier, then he takes the backswing, which then allows him to accelerate into the ball more. There's also a key difference in the type of contact we're making on the ball. If we start with me again, because I'm not taking a backswing and I have no acceleration coming into the ball, I'm just trying to almost spin the ball over, which means I can get it over, but you know, there's not much pace on the flick. And by comparison, if we look at Liam, Liam's contact is uh, flatter. He's uh, able to have that flatter contact because of the backswing. He can accelerate into the ball. He can hit the ball a little bit flatter which means he can get a bit more depth on his flick and it's, a, and it's more aggressive. Next, let's look at our feet. Um, and let's pause the footage here. Now, this is really interesting. So if we look at my right foot to begin with, it's further forward than Liam's, but it's more in the middle of the table. And I think this is causing me to play my forehand flick in a really awkward way. I'm having to stretch for the ball more. I'm kind of more hunched over the table and the balance just isn't quite right. Whereas Liam, his right foot does come forward, not quite as much as mine, but it comes across the table more. He's lining his right foot up more behind the ball and therefore Liam is far more balanced as he is playing this forehand flick. And finally, let's take a look at the recovery position. And again, this is really interesting. Let's freeze it here. What a big difference. Liam is already into a very good recovery position. And look at me, I've still got the bat above my head. Um, so why is this? Well, I think it's a combination of everything we have looked at so far. Um, Liam prepares for his shots earlier than I do, he's better balanced. Um, and because he takes that backswing, um, that means he can accelerate into the ball and he pretty much finishes his stroke as soon as he's contacted the ball, um, which means then he can get straight back into recovery position. So in summary, 
Well, I mean, there's quite a few differences here, aren't there? Let me just pick out a few. So Liam, he prepares earlier, okay? He uses a bigger backswing. He has a flatter contact with his flick. Um, his, his feet position allow him to be much more stable, much better balanced, and all of those things combined allow him to play a faster flick and also allow him to recover much quicker. Cool. Length. Thank you very much for watching and a big thank you to Liam Pitchford for sharing his forehand flick technique. Also a big thank you to Breibar Table Tennis and to Victus for supporting this video series with Liam. I will have plenty more videos coming soon or take a look at one of these other videos. I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.